case you haven't heard, there's a Turkish Game of Thrones. No, for real though. <laughs> It's a Turkish series called Dirilish Ertuğrul, or Resurrection Ertuğrul. So far, there are more than 110 episodes that are over two and a half hours long each. And fans around the world are going wild over it. Dirilish Ertuğrul. Dirilish Ertuğrul. Dirilish Ertuğrul. Dirilish Ertuğrul. Dirilish Ertuğrul. It's the best series ever made. <laughs> Dirilish Ertuğrul is set in the 13th century. And his protagonist, Ertuğrul Bey, is the very man who laid the foundations of the Ottoman Empire. Ben Süleyman Şah oğlu Ertuğrul. The show began airing in 2014 on Turkey's public broadcaster, TRT1. And its purpose was to bolster patriotism, chivalry, compassion, respect for elders, and a ton of other virtues that Turkish people take pride in. Türk, an diçerse sözünü tutmadan ölmez. But little did the creators know that it would become an international sensation. It's become so famous that sales of this Alpat have skyrocketed, and even non-Turks have been inspired to learn their favorite lines. People from all around the world are flooding our TRT World inbox asking for subtitled versions. So we asked fans worldwide to describe the show, and this is what they had to say. It's nice, clean, fun entertainment. Just its chivalry and honor. I've never been so captivated and consumed. So, why is the rest of the world hooked on a show that was created for a local Turkish audience? Well, because this story is different. And I'm not just talking about the cool costumes, horses, or the historical feel. There are countless historical fiction series out there, but this one is centered in the Muslim world. You have people who look like us, think like us, and even breathe like us. But when I look at that, I see a role models, I see beautiful behavior, uh, mannerism, and character. That makes us proud of our history. It's nice to be the heroes. It transcends generations, continents. And on top of that, it's halal for the eyeballs. Completely PG rated, which means no sex scenes. Gönlümün Sultana. We all know how Muslim men are usually portrayed in the entertainment industry. They're the bad guys, the terrorists, the sidekicks, or the extras, and the women are portrayed as docile, weak, and even oppressed. But not in Ertuğrul. Instead, both men and women are portrayed as sophisticated healers, scholars, mystics, warriors, and leaders fighting to restore justice. And, well, some of them are schemers. The series is based on the history of the Oz Turks and Ertuğrul's mission to find a permanent homeland for his tribe, the Kayı. During this mission, his tribe fights crusaders, the Mongols, the Byzantines, and sometimes even enemies from among his own people. The story also shows characters observing familiar Muslim rituals, offering prayer, reciting Quran, and praising God and depicts famous figures central to Islamic civilization, like Ibn Arabi, a Sufi and scholar from Andalusia, who becomes Ertuğrul's spiritual guide. But the series is resonating not just with Muslims, but with a global audience. I'm not a Muslim, but I appreciate finding out about Sufism. I'm 74 years old. I live in Oxfordshire in England. The best series ever made. <laughs> I'm going to watch Ertuğrul for the rest of my life until my last breath. Thank you, and voila. So, if you haven't watched Ertuğrul yet, you should. It's on Netflix.